Squish has a small nose and he eats apricots yeah. in the evening. Shut up. Yeah, Hi, my name's good. Squish. Oh. I like apricots. <laughs> You're just talking shit. Man. Uh, yeah, yeah, I'm just spewing garbage. Wait, my name is Squish oh. and I can't get a nuke to save my life. Ah, oh, you try getting a nuke that meme. <laughs> nah, I'll get it instantly. I don't want to ruin the fun for you. Oh. <laughs> Shut up. Jesus Christ. <laughs> shut, shut the fuck up, Mimi. You don't have the talking stick. I want it all. What they saying? Take a toe. I love that hate. I don't need no antidote. No, better keep it light. Yeah, I'm talking to the goat. It's no joke. Welcome, guys. It's me, Mr. Gamer, here, and welcome back to another. It's not been over two months since the last full length video, shut up. Welcome back to another video and today I'm going to be explaining my thoughts on the Call of Duty Vanguard Champions Hill Alpha. Now, bear in mind that this footage was recorded on PS4 and also it was recorded by an idiot. So if it looks, if, if the footage looks a bit bad in quality, do bear in mind I'm running on an old capture card so... It does look a bit uh, trash, but hey, let's move on to the actual game and what I think about it. And in terms of the actual gameplay itself and how I felt playing it, I feel like the gameplay is a mixture between World War Call of Duty World War Two and then Modern Warfare 2019. I feel like a lot of the gameplay works just like both of them games. So if you either liked both of them games. It does feel very, very similar, in my opinion, to them two games. In terms of uh, how I thought about the game, I think that the van the alpha was just really good. I had the same opinion last year with uh, Cold War, where I thought the alpha was good, but the game didn't really turn out to be one of the best games that I've played in the Call of Duty franchise. I'd probably give uh, maybe Black Ops 2 the best Call of Duty game, in my opinion. But, so far, Vanguard is looking pretty decent, and I'm really excited to play the uh, Open Bear when that releases, but, you know, time will tell. The only one, the one bug that I encountered was a strange one where I could see players' names through walls that I wasn't meant to see them through. I could not see any of their player model, but I could see their name tag. So it's like I had, it's like I had wall hacks that I wasn't meant to have, and that was like one of the only bugs that I had while playing the alpha. Let's talk about weapons, shall we? So the weapons of this game, are classic World War Two uh, weapons. You've got the MP40, SDG, you got a bar, the Kanaye, like all the classic weapons that you'd think that were in World War Two games, either from World at War or World War Two. All of the weapons are in the alpha that are classic World War II weapons. So you'll feel right at home when playing the game. They do feel a little bit clunky in the alpha. I don't know if that is the actual alpha or that will be what the game is. But I felt like some of the weapons were really, really hard to use. And they felt a bit clunky and very off sometimes. That might be just due to the alpha, but in my opinion, they were a bit off the weapons sometimes when firing. The actual game mode itself that they uh, that they had in the alpha was a pretty fun one, to be fair. I really liked um, Champion Hill. It's a twist on a new game mode, and it's like really fun to play. If you don't know what the game mode is, uh, there is teams of there's eight teams of two, and you have twelve lives. And if all your lives go away, you lose the match. The winner of the game is just is determined whoever has the most lives left at the end of the game. It is very simple, and new players will probably pick it up pretty easy. There's a buy system as well, so you get cash for killing people, and also you get cash from drops, which you can use to buy weapons, buy armor, buy extra lives. Every three rounds, there's a buy round, so therefore you can buy all this stuff with the cash. And also as well, you can upgrade your weapons to get random attachments that are unlocked throughout playing. 
I really enjoyed this game mode, and I think it's just like Gunfight uh, back in Modern Warfare where I really enjoyed it, and that, that had its own alpha, and that was a really good game mode, Gunfight, and then it was in Cold War, and that was pretty decent, but I really like Champion Hill. It's a really nice game mode that I will 100% be playing in the full game. Overall, I feel like the alpha was really good. Like, I really enjoyed playing this alpha as... I really enjoyed the, the gameplay of this um, Call of Duty. I really enjoyed like the weapons when they weren't a bit clunky. The weapons can be fixed, but overall, there was not really many bugs, except from the wall hack one, and there wasn't many problems that I could really encounter, so I feel like it was an overall really good alpha, and I'm really excited to play the beta now when that opens up to the public on Xbox. So, yeah. I hope you guys enjoyed this little analysis video of why I feel about what I feel about the alpha. Uh, I know it's been a long time since I've been uploading, but I've been really busy recently and I've not had the motivation to really make content for myself. Thank you guys for watching, and I hope to see you guys in the full game of Vanguard. Take care, and I hope you have a wonderful day. Bye bye. I'm thirsty. Double kill! You bag Team Baker! At ease, smoke them if you got them. You showed them alright! They can't stop it, they can't stop the kids. They can't stop it, they can't stop the kids. Check the score, but I'm running up stats. Numbers don't lie, that's facts. They can't stop it, they can't stop it. They can't stop the kids. They can't stop it. They can't stop the kids. Check the numbers, I'm running it up.